Yo, what up YouTube? It's Rain the ma 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 mask. Right. Now, I said I was going to get into this and I said I was going to do it properly. So this is the um Air Force 1 Supreme collabo which dropped um I think it was the 23rd of um 23rd of October. Um Air Force 1s. Now, I I previously to having these uh, oh shouts out to shouts out to the massive over at supreme london like i'm not gonna say no more just shouts out to you guys um like i've had air forces before i've only had one pair and they were um an air force one which was all black a high top um and it had a gum sole and you know i'm like with gum soles so the only pair of air forces that i had they were okay not my favorite trainer um Obviously, these came out now, came out today, and I saw them, and I was like, hmm, I'm interested. And then the interest turned to must have, resulting in what we have here now, me having both pairs. Now, to get into some of the detail, so Supreme is a clothing brand, don't know when it started, I should probably find out for you. I should probably find out, but it, it, it started um, and it turned into, I believe it was a skaters brand, I believe, someone can correct me on that. Um, and then it became a brand for people that, um, I don't know, some people call hype beasts, some people say the quality of the stuff's good. Um, if you're someone that's into Odd Future, um, you know that Tyler the Creator, enough of them man, L Sweatshirt and them Utes wear this brand i don't think they'll wear these though i think they'll think these are too too flicey or too 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 hype um these came in three different colorways so they came in this red which is i'm dubbing the the, the supreme red i say the supreme red because if you just look there that's the that's the supreme logo um that's the bag it came in coincidentally um so supreme red then it came in a white which i've just been showcasing and showing you and then it came in a black now the main thing with the with air force ones and what everyone complains about is the creasing of the toe box the leather now on the box it doesn't actually say that these are premium so as far as i'm concerned they're just normal Air for they're just normal um, Air Force material. Um, the leather is a bit softer from what I can see. Um, the cut of the trainer isn't particularly good, if you can see there. A lot of people are complaining about the quality of the white ones, but I think they're all right. They're Air Force ones, man. Fuck, like, like everyone's saying, oh, the leather should have been better because they're supreme and all of that kind of stuff. I'm not sure they should have. Um, and then there's this whole thing about hype beasts now. Like, if a trainer's popular, people are going to want to buy it. And I think it was Jesus, a.k.a. Sav, said basically anything which has a Supreme logo on it will attract attention. But it's the same thing that anything which has a Ronnie Fig or Ronnie Fig thing attached to it will sell out. It will have hype to them. It's just the nature of the game. At the end of the day, these are for collectors, I personally feel. If you are a collector, you've probably got these in your connection. But then there are some people that just like Air Force Ones. Like my bedroom only wears Air Force Ones, nothing else. He's probably got about six pairs of white Air Force Ones. I said, bedroom, you're boring, buy something different. I'm like, nah man, I this me like, this me I go here. You see, you see, you see. I can't blame a man for that. Anyway, um, sorry, I, I think I digressed. So. The actual Nike swoosh is like a tumbled leather. You can probably just make that out. The Supreme is actually, um, I can't think of the word, embossed into the leather as opposed to just printed on. Um, you can just see that. And then the back has um, almost like a pat leather um, kind of little tab, which you've got the 94 on. And then you've got this world famous um, kind of strap, Velcro strap, which goes right the way around the top of the the, 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 the top of the trainer. Um, then you've got your little um, thing that holds it in place. It 
comes with, they both, they all come with spare laces. And if I look into here, they also come with this spare strap or spare straps. Now, the spare straps do not have the Supreme logo on them. So people probably roll with these because people want you to know that they are Supremes, you get me? Um, again, typical Air Force One sole. Nothing really to report home about there. You can just see that pat leather tick, um, not the pat leather, just the leather tick fitting in better. Um, and then you've got the um, the tongue, which has got the Supreme Air Force um, logo thing at the top. Like all in all, that these cost one hundred and thirty pounds. Realistically, Air Force Ones cost about. I don't even know how much Air Force Ones cost. I think they're about 90. You could probably, if you're lucky, get highs for about 60 in some places. But obviously, you are paying for that supreme name on it. Let's not beat around the bush. You are paying for that supreme name. Um, are they worth it? I think yes, because they're a collector's thing. Um, the resell on these, as someone pointed out, is crazy. I think people are, like, people are selling the, reselling them back outside supreme for two for 200 quick sell i've seen them for about 250 to two to 300 but again it's one of those things like what are your thoughts and the mad thing about it is that they didn't release in new york i think they released in la uk um china or maybe hong kong i can't or somewhere i can't remember i say china maybe hong kong you know you know what i mean but um what are your thoughts it wasn't much of a review, it's more of me just talking odds and sods about them, but you, you get the gist of an Air Force One, you get me? Anyway, Rain the Mask, signing out. Supreme! <laughs>